All right, so we're going to be showing you how to fix this part of the eyelids from a AutoRig Pro. We're going to be changing it into it working for an anime style. It's going to be more like this, like straight down. So there's a couple of things we need to change. First of all, we need to go into the uh, few layers. find this layer you're gonna get these bones which are controlling the eyelids the parents and this bone is just a driver which is moving the other two so we're gonna edit these layers we're gonna do it for all of them got the same way I'm just gonna do it for these two and then we can follow it for the other ones exact same thing so for the right and it's gonna be for the left so, first thing, let's go into edit mode. We got the bones here. Let's move the uh, visibility to um, top uh, in front. Okay, so that we can actually see them no matter where we look. Go back there. Okay, so go here. I'm gonna go to my side view. And I just want them to be close to its horizontal. So this two around there. And if you want to, you can actually move them to a reasonable location. However, I will do this. Yeah, why not? Let's do it right there and put it right there okay. so grab that one now you go out of uh, edit into post mode again and now once again your pivot point is back here which is now just makes it a bit better but not exactly what you want which will press G and still not moving there since they're locked in place so we need to modify their uh, no, modifications so we toggle those off we're gonna add a copy location select our rig which is name rig in this case and then we're gonna copy the same name as our top two ones and paste it here and now it did this All right so one more little item we need to change is the target in owner location you can go to uh, local space and local space and now we do this and now this seems to work toggle on our driver's locations and now we go like this they no longer rotate but now they go up and down we can also change these locations and possibly move them somewhere where they're more reasonable so let's so change this one maybe the bottom one and probably place it around here So now let's do the same thing to the bottom one. Go to edit, we might turn those two off. Go to uh, copy location. Go to break. Go up here. Copy. Move that one and paste. And then local space and local space. local space okay so once that's done you should have this so once you have this now you can easily make your uh, shape keys and morph keys by doing so let's 
but I'm not going to need this layer. So let's talk about these two layers that we're going to be needing. So let's say you're going to make a blink. Let's close the eye around there. And let's close the eye around there. But since our eyeball is a very egg-shaped kind of eye, it doesn't quite close nicely. We get this cut off all intersections. Right. So in order to fix that, you're going to grab the bones right here for the eyelids. And you're going to have to move them so you get a nice... What's a nice uh, flat eyelid as possible? So this one doesn't quite look right. Also grab this two and move it up a bit more. So what this one's doing is grabbing all the uh, three little eye bones on top, and this one's doing the same thing respectively to the bottom ones. So once you have a decent little shape that you want. So let's say there, you can go to your skin, go to your shape keys, I mean, uh, we need to go to our modifier, and then save as shape key. Once that's done, we want to reset our uh, morph so control R G and S go back into our skin go to our shape keys and it's gonna be by the way in the bottom it's gonna be here and now you have this brand new shape key once you do this you can press it say um New shape. shape. Alright, so we have this second one. And let's uh, mirror the shape key. So we have the opposite one. Now, mirror only works if your model is actually symmetrical. If it's not, then this is going to give you a bunch of errors. But this is how you can create a right and left without you having to go into edit mode and having to manually move your vertex around so if you go like this don't have to manually be doing this all the time although you do want to go in there and adjust any little lingering spots like possibly around here which is doesn't quite look right little edges so you can smooth them out and then do your your mirror but it will get you at least 90 percent of your work done okay so with this let's call this a video and see you guys later